Hello, this is Joe, DW, DW Foamies. Um, this video is going to be about preparing your links for, uh, for the plane. Uh, we want to prepare these links so that they smoothly turn all the way around. We don't want slop in them. We just want them nice and smooth to turn through our joints. Um, you want to put on the links on each arm first ahead of time. Uh, make sure that the direction of the link is, as your arm goes under your servo is facing out and away from it uh, so you can easily tighten them up when they get on the plane. Uh, it, it wouldn't be the first time that uh, somebody put these on the inside. Uh, I've done it numerous times, but uh, making sure that it faces out the same side that the screw is going to go in will save you a lot of hassle later. So when I'm doing a link, these all come inside the package with your kit. Uh, I'll take a piece of tape and lay it down just on any surface. Now there's a couple of different ways you can do this. You can use uh, Loctite, which is the liquid Loctite. I'm not a fan of that. Um, when you put this link in here and try and stick Loctite on this or pre-dip it in Loctite and then put on your nut, uh, the Loctite leaches up into the wood around here and can make the link stick. Uh, it's rare but it happens especially on the plastic links are, are really bad. Uh, some of the plastic cutout ones that will come with the kits uh, the Loctite bonds to the plastic so be careful when using Loctite that uh, you only get it on the tip here of the link and not up into the shaft here where it can bond to the plastic. Uh, a good way to go when instead of getting the liquid Loctite is to get Loctite stick. This is Loctite stick 248. It is expensive but it lasts a long time. I've had this for about two and a half years now and uh, it's just Loctite in a in a lipstick type stick. So when you want to put Loctite on it all you do is just dip the links into the end and you've got the perfect amount on there. Stick it on. Put on your nut. Uh, there is a washer that comes with it. Now I'll hand tighten these until I can't really move them. And then I'll take a rod. and back it off just enough to where it's nice and free. It's still tight. Now the bottom of this you can put a drop of CA right here and that will will uh, soak into the end of it and act like a little lock washer on the end of it. It's kinda cool. Um, putting it on this way, putting a drop on here is kinda problematic uh, especially with the thinner CAs is it tends to want to wick this way into the wood and around the, the joint and can lock this down so you can't move it. So a solution to that would be to just take and put a small amount on your bench here. Let me open this up. Okay. I'll take that and I'll spread it out a little bit. I just want a thin layer on top of the tape. Now I can just dip it on the end and it's actually right there only on the end. It's not up in the threads at all. And then spray a little shot on it. So now you have Loctite on the end, you have a nice free joint here, and you're good to go. When you set up these links, take note of where the set screw goes. So when you're doing the ailerons, you're going to want to make sure that, that this set screw, that you can reach it, and that this link is pointing out towards the tip of the wing. 
when you're doing the rudder, same thing. It'll face, if you have the airplane upside down, you'll set this into the rudder, you'll face it so you can reach it. Same with the elevator, towards the outside so you can reach, towards the outside so you can reach the link and uh, put the set screw in. Uh, a lot of times I'll set these and I'll just forget and I'll put it on on the wrong side and end up fooling around with them and having to rip one out because I, I put it on the wrong side and stuck it in the plane. So taking a little little bit of care in that will uh, save you a lot of hassle. So we'll do one more here. I won't always use the washer because there's, there's a good amount of thread here and uh, I like to get into the thread. like excess either. So I've got this is going to be my left side. Let me do a right one over here. I'm tight right now so I'll probably back it off just a half turn. Just enough to make sure it's loose. So I have a little bit of CA there. Go. I'm starting to run out of this. Okay, got it nice and smooth. You should easily be able to turn your link, and nowhere should it bind on any side of this. Uh, a smooth joint, a smooth link like this will just make your aileron surfaces uh, much smoother. It'll make it easier to trim. It will. Uh, put less stress on the servo it just makes a monstrous difference in the air uh, cannot it, it stress that enough to make sure that this can smoothly move through here but you also don't want a lot of slop if you have a lot of slop inside these links when you roll inverted your aileron will actually drop because of the slop if uh, just by an example here You can see the physical movement of this if you left it loose. And I'll, I'll see that quite a bit too, is the link will be very loose. It'll have over an eighth inch of play. As you extend that eighth inch play, it can allow the aileron to drop when you roll inverted. This will actually flop down as a link and allow the aileron to drop a quarter of an inch. So when you're trying to do a waterfall or a harrier and you have one side that's tight and the other side that's loose, when you push, when you roll push to the inverted for your waterfall, one aileron can drop a quarter of an inch and it causes the plane to tip to one way or the other. So making sure that these do not drop, your ailerons stay even as the plane rolls over will really clean up your waterfalls and make those look much nicer. So getting this just snug enough to where there isn't any kind of drop but still smooth movement is ideal. When you, after you dip it inside the, uh, the CA and you shoot it, just let it sit there for a second. You don't want to dip it and turn it upright because it will soak down into everything, cause issues. So there we go. That's uh, the quick vid on how to prepare your links. You'll do this to all your links and all your control arms and uh, get them ready for the plane. And then we'll start assembling them and putting them in the plane. Thanks.